So today class we will be discussing about the question, interview questions. Okay. So interview questions. How oh, we can handle that? Okay. So let's go with that. Uh, organized structure. So, what are the organization structures uh, elements in MM, MM organization structure elements? Panchayat organization plant. Sorry. Panchayat organization. So plant. when we say to organize structures, always you should start with a higher level, higher to lower level. So client, okay, client, then company, company code, plant, purchasing organization, purchasing group. Right? Sir, purchase, or ne, purchase group is not an organization structure. Organization element. I am talking about organization elements. Mom, organization elements. Okay. Organization okay. structure and enterprise structure where organization structure where bo. So these are the organizational elements. Okay. Right. Okay, next. So, how many, uh, so how many roughly, how many plants will be there generally? So, there are a number of plants you can create. Okay, so assignments. So, assignments slow. What are possible to start there? What are not possible to start there? Okay, so the first question was Can we? Assign one company code to multiple plants. Yes, sir. One company code to multiple plants. Yes, Vice versa. One company code, one plant to multiple compound. No, sir. No, sir. Question number one, question number two. Right. Purchasing organization. One purchasing organization can be assigned to multiple coming codes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One purchasing organization. Can be assigned to multiple purchasing organization. Hmm? Yes, sir. One company called can be assigned to multiple purchasing organization. Oh, sir. One purchasing organization can be assigned to multiple company codes. Yes, sir. The third one is. Okay. One plant can be assigned to multiple purchasing organizations. Yes, sir. One, one purchasing organization can be assigned to multiple plants. Chipunne? Yes, sir. Welcome. Yes, sir. Okay. So, the answer is apparent. The chippe answer is correct. Choose for me.
ఎట్లా చూసుకోవాలి ఈ ఆన్సర్లు కరెక్ట్ గా ఉన్నాయో మనం ఎట్లా చూసుకోవచ్చు సో ఇక్కడ మీకు ఓకే సో ఇక్కడ చూసారా ఇక్కడ మనం కంపెనీ కోడ్ ప్లాంట్ కి అసైన్ చేస్తున్నాం కంపెనీ కోడ్ ప్లాంట్ కి అసైన్ చేస్తున్నాం సో లాక్ చేశాడు okay now if you see that if i go to new entries okay i can assign company code and plant right so that means it is a free entry so i can enter same company code here and uh, different different plants i can enter if there is a duplicate need there then they will, it will tell you that means okay so i can assign one company code to multiple plants right right Yes, if suppose i have the yes, company sir. code jtblr okay this jtblr if i assign to the jra1 okay so system will check that this assignment is there or not there okay so this already there if suppose i'm doing with that okay uh, some kind of tangent or something which is different uh, plant okay what will happen okay the system will give that already this plant was assigned to the company code that means the same plant cannot be assigned to the other company code right so that means here the statement of that the same plant cannot be assigned to other company code so where is that this is no and this is yes correct sir no yes sir yes, sir okay so what i am trying to do here so this plant already assigned to other company code okay so that's what because of that system is giving that error message this was already assigned this thousand was already assigned to thousand company code so you cannot assign to other company code because that already exist and it is already assigned so you cannot do that clear so the same plan cannot be assigned to multiple company codes clear is it clear yes sir yes sir yes sir okay. then coming to the one purchasing organization can be assigned to multiple company codes let's see okay go and let's go to material management and see the purchasing organization assignment to the company code okay so now what i'm doing here If I see that, okay, I can go to purchasing organization, but there is no new entries. That means it is restricted to enter multiple times of what purchasing organization. Okay, so that means one purchasing organization cannot be assigned to multiple company codes. It is strictly that one-to-one -one relation. It's not like one-to-multiple, right? So that means. the statement is 
one company or having the multiple purchasing organization one company could no. have the multiple purchasing organization yes or wrong one company no, code sir. can be assigned to the multiple purchasing organization yes because no, jet tribular i have jet tribular if suppose jet tribular is there and jet ra1 is there so jet ra1 i can assign to the jet tribular jet tribular jet tribular so there is no difficult here because company code we are assigning so it is possible but the reversal which is like uh the one purchasing organization can be assigned to multiple common code that was the wrong so it is not possible is clear yes sir is it clear okay now let's go to the next two question which is like one plant can be assigned to the multiple purchasing organization one plant can be assigned to the multiple purchasing organization so let's go to the that configuration one plant can be assigned to the purchasing organization so let's see here so here again it's new entries right so the same purchasing organization can be assigned to the multiple plants the one yes, purchasing so organization can be assigned to the multiple plant so this is possible right so we have it is possible let's see is it possible or not possible so if i'm there if i'm using jet ra1 or jet rr then i can assign this to jet ra1 okay if it is already there then i will try to the jet ra2 yes accepting so there is no restriction so that means one purchasing organization can be assigned to multiple come to us i mean vice versa i'm just trying to do jet ra1 okay one already assigned right so i'm just trying to do jet ra2 ra2 to jet ra1 this is also possible so vice versa it is accepting what i did what i did say purchasing organization can be assigned to multiple plants and same uh, purchasing organization can be assigned to multiple plants that means it is already assigned the plant that ra1 so let's see here what i can show you now if i want to go with a print here and i just taking the filter here and i'll just entering my plant the plan my plant having that multiple purchasing organization one plant having the multiple purchasing organization one plant having the multiple purchasing organization correct so this is question this is what yes. question one plant can be assigned to multiple purchasing yes yes okay clear yes sir okay. so this is what assignment okay so storage location will be created under the, where we will be creating the storage location we are not under the we are plan. maintaining under the plan so location we are maintaining under the plan okay clear yes sir okay the next question the tables table for enterprise structure So, what is the table for company code? For company code, expected plan, plan, purchasing organization, and the assignments. Okay. So, what are the purchasing organization? Which is what are the tables are there? So, tables will not generally. It is very rarely they will ask. but yeah uh, definitely it is very important uh, because some cases will last okay so it's le at least to some kind of the uh, table we have to remember so company code table where it will be stored see down here one one plant 
W store location. T double zero one L right. See here, you can see here. If you have doubt, then you can go to here and go to company course. Let's go with uh, maybe you can go here. Um, definition. Definition you can see that when you create in company code. Okay, so if you go to here, down company code. In the company code, if you can see table view here, you go to print to here, you can see here the which I said, right? V underscore T double zero one. So you can leave that V underscore and the remaining which is like T double zero one at the table. So that table you can see here. That's 16, 16 and table. Okay. So T double zero one, which is that company code. Okay. So like if you go to plant. <clears throat> go to plant. So plants again. Uh, Okay, so if you go to plants, okay, then plants again, if you can see that again, T001 W is that plant. So, which is what we are discussing, right? So, T001 W is the plant code, plant table. Then let's go with the store location. Let's see the RLs. We'll see. Uh, which I might go to store location here. Here also, if you see that, if I just uh, I'm telling right, we are maintaining under the plant store location. So if you see that this plant under the this store location. So this store location can be the same code can be created for multiple plants. So there is no restriction. So triple zero one, if you created for Jadari one, you can create triple zero one again for the Jadari two. So there is no difficult. Okay. So if you want that point also, you can write no problem. Okay. So what is that? <clears throat> the store location code. Store location code can be can be used for multiple times to create to maintain under different plans. Okay. Clear? Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, now let's go to the store locations. So store location, if you see that store location, T001L. Okay, this is the or store location. Let's see here, T001L is the store location. Okay, so this is the store location uh, table. The same way you can find for the purchasing organization also. Okay, so you can find here T001 T024E. Okay, so this is table for purchasing organization. Okay, so you need to remember because uh, in future, if you need to see in the production system, whether these are created or not created, it is very easy to check in the table level. Or whether the whatever we create a purchasing organizations or plants or company codes which is imported to other system, so check that you can easily identify from the table instead of going to the SPRO and check that. Okay, so T T zero twenty four E EDA or purchasing organization. Uh, Organization table. Then let's see. Okay, you can see here the warehouses, shipping points, and other things, loading point, transportation planning points, and all which you can create. Then if I go to assignments, again, assignments will be different tables, right? Assignments are always it's different tables. So if I go to the company code, to company, these are all different, different uh, assignments here. And if you go to the assign plan to company code, you can see here the, when there is a table view, you can see easily uh, the table name. So T001K is that table name. So let's see if it is correct or not. 
3001k k is the this evaluation area what it is moment 3001k this is the evaluation area so one evaluation area this is coming code so this is wrong actually so 3001k is for the evaluation area so let's make this point is 3001k so evaluation area Variation area TW1K. So, whether this is correct or wrong? Variation area is assignment. This is correct or wrong? So, what do you mean by variation area? Variation area is the plant. Right? Where is the plant, right? Variation area is the plant only, right? So, obviously, this assignment will it will show here, right? If I show, if I go to my plant, that area one, if I execute this one, this that area one is assigned to the triple R. Right, so that means this is correct or wrong? Correct, sir. Correct, right? Because well, it's not the plant, right? Yes, sir. That's what they were given a common table. So, well, it's not the same. They are utilizing for the material area, other activities also they are utilizing. So, they are why we need multiple company, multiple plants. Why we need multiple plants? That's what they are doing like. Multiple tables. Why we need the multiple tables for assignments and all? So they are going with the. So when you go into the assignments, you can see other uh, kind of information like price, uh, costing related, all these things you can see. Okay, now. Now what is next? If I go to. Enterprise structure and assignment. And if I go to logistical general and the plant company code is done, right? Just now we completed and we'll go for the purchasing organization company code. So if I want to see that this purchasing organization as company code assignment, then you can see here the table name is T024E. T024E. Let's see this is correct or not. So purchasing organization assignment. So if you can see here, 24E is a purchase organization which is assigned or not assigned. Let's make it this assigned. Let's try. So it is not there here. So then where we can see the assignment table. The structure view it is view structure. So how we can find this? assignment here so assign so oh, there must be some table this is there but it's not a table it is for to the purchasing organization so do we have that uh, here itself they are maintaining that? Let's see inside. That triple R. Exit. Okay, here only they are they are defined and they are executed. They define and assigned to the respect to company code. So the purchasing organization creation and uh, assignment both in the same table. Okay. Yeah. So T024 E is the okay. It's not only for purchasing organization and respect to assignment with assignment with company code. Okay. So if you want to see purchase organizations, yes, we can go with the T024 E. And at a time, the assignments also you can see in the T024E. Okay, so they are avoiding that multiple tables. Why we need to go for the separate separate tables? So it, they are assigning it this thing. So then we we'll go if you see here for this plan two and this one. Okay, this is two 
2024 W. Let's see this one 2024 W. So here valid purchasing organization for plant. Okay, so here the assignment sheet is there. So T024 W. T024 W. She's like plant and plant and partition organization assignment. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So so every assignment having the different different tables and uh, assignments respective to the that assignments that is uh, mapped. Okay. So in in case if you are preparing some uh, some uh, reports kind of thing, so these are information which is very important. Like tables, it is needed to how we can validate and how we can check. So in case if you are not able to see view, but we can go to here F1. You can just click on F1. Okay, and you can see technical information. That information will give you that what exactly it will be tables like. Okay. So this is the uh, which is like purchasing organization and uh, plants and company goals. And if you go to standard purchasing organization also, you can go with the standard purchase organization. Here print. And go to T W one W lo. So they are assigning this one. So let's go to TW01. So here, if you go to TW01W, okay, plants and brands. Okay. So here itself, they are giving, they are, uh, if you maintain the standard purchase organization, that RA1, you go to standard purchase organization. Okay. You can maybe map here, somewhere they map it. Or uh, purchase So if you maintain purchase organization, then you can see here the valuation area when you created plant automatically valuation area also it's updated. Okay, because valuation area is plant. Then the purchasing organization also is mapped. It is a standard purchase organization, right? So the question is here: Can we maintain multiple standard purchase organizations for one plant? No, sir. One standard budget organization can be assigned to multiple plants? No, sir. One standard organization for one plant. So one plant having the only one standard budget organization, right? One plant. One pl plant having one standard purchasing organization. Okay, the same purchasing organization can be used for multiple, can be used, the same purchasing organization can be used as a standard purchasing organization for only one plant. For multiple plants. Is it possible? Get a statement correctly. So this is the one pattern is this is correct. The last one. The last one. One of the same purchasing organization can be used as a standard purchase organization for multiple plants. We can do right because yes, sir, yes, sir. See, I'm I'm thinking I'm just checking that jet RA one is just a jet R triple R is the my purchasing organization. So if I go to jet RA one, I can assign that jet triple R. Okay. Then I can go to jet RA two again jet triple R and jet R one jet triple R. So like I can define no. So there is no problem because Okay, I'm just assuming that is my standard purchase organization. If central purchase organization is there, can I can assume that that is my standard purchase organization and this is doing all that. Then what we can do that? Okay. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay. So the table for standard purchase organization, standard purchasing organization, assignment paid 
plan that will be the T double zero one W. Right? Yes, so this is the way you have to be learned when you are doing practice. We're not blinding you creating the company calls, you are creating blinds. When you are doing something, you must be what observed there, that point to point you just did. Uh, those are all these are all will come in the in the question. So no one cannot be assumed that this will be the interview question. Because the panel will ask any kind of issue which is real time or any kind of issue which is from configuration. So there is nowhere which is telling that these are the only interview questions or these are the only process. Okay. So we have to be learn self learning is very important in SAP. You will be getting so many, so many things when you're going to the real time. So it is not all standard. Everyone will use the customization again. So customization, when you are talking on customization, you must be aware about all these kind of assignments and tables, everything. Got the point? <clears throat> yes, sir. OK. So this is the way you have to be start working. OK, then coming to the material type. Metal master. OK, so. What is the metal type? What is the metal master? Material type. Same attributes of kind of the material will be considering into one type of material. Yes, sir. That means that means if we are using this, if the product has a raw materials in our product, this in our company, okay. That's that's kind of the materials. What are the materials which you are using? All the materials as raw materials, we can consider as a raw material. So one material, if we are considering raw material, the other material, why we should consider raw material? So there is nowhere that question mark because you are using that material also as a raw material in my company. Okay. So and one more point is here, the same material can be. That means the same material if I'm using as a raw material, it is not. Uh, Nowhere they mentioned that this is this must be raw material for all the companies. So they might be different. If I'm my company, it is raw material, then the other companies they might be it is a semi-finished goods, and the, the other company might be they are using as a finished goods. So it depends on the process production. What are the process they are following, and uh, what are the ingredients or components or bomb components which they are, they are using? They are considering based on that that is raw material or packing material or finished goods or some finished goods. Okay. If suppose let's say example, if I'm taking the cotton box, cotton box in my company they are considered as a packing material, but the cotton manufacturer they are considering this is my finished product, cotton boxes. So I cannot assume that this is the always raw material or this is always packing material. Different company codes have a different different. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, how many different types of material types are there? So, provide me some. Provide me some material types. Standard R -O -H, material. R -O -H. Material types. Huh? ROH. Huh? Raw materials. ROH raw material. Halab HALB. HALB. Semi finish. Semi finish board. FERT. FERT. Finish goods. Finish goods. Next. Next. Uh, Pipe. Pi, pi, for pipeline. Pipe, pipe. Pipeline pipe material, okay. Next. 
नॉन वाज एंटरटेनमेंट इधर ओ नेक्स्ट आहावा हेचे डब्ल्यू ए ट्रेडिंग गुड्स UNBW non-valued non-valued प्रोडक्ट नेक्स्ट वीआरपी पैकिंग मटेरियल वीआरपी पैकिंग मटेरियल नेक्स्ट थिंक एम व्हाट एल्स इट इज देयर डिफरेंस सो व्हाट इज़ द टी कोड फॉर ट्रांजेक्शन कोड फॉर मेटेरियल टाइप क्रिएशन ट्रांजेक्शनर Okay, so let's go to OMS two, and what you said, what we need to see here. Okay, so if I go to D I E N, this is the service. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. And if I go to, okay, if I go to, if I go to. Uh, Ready to record for the uh, service must record. ML. No, I just put now. Record for service. Okay. So, get the general CRV CRV list. Okay. Service category slot. Okay. No other service category. And material types slot. No, which is called ante. सर्वर कनेक्ट आव सो इसी मे बी डिफरेंट उ मन के फोर हाँ सर की मन को मेटीरियल टाइप इच्छा सर्वीस अभी डीआईन ओके कनेक्ट आवे सीसी चूचा की ओके सो नो प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट व्हाट नेक्स्ट सीसी व्हाट एल्स ओके So this is for the uh, material types, list of material types, and take out for the uh, material type. Okay. So then, 
Okay, let's go to the uh, controls, material type controls. Material type controls. So how material type controlling to the material must record? The material controls the material type, material must record. One, what is the first one? Number range. Number ranges. Number range. The next one? Field selection control. Field selection. Selection control. Next one? Departments. User, User department. Yes. User departments. Next one? Document types in house. External document or internal document. Yes, sir. Next one. Quantity and value update. Quantity and value update. Next one. Valuation class. Valuation. Valuation class. Valuation. Class. Valuation class. Price. Yes. What is it? Class. Price. Class. Valuation class. I can't get it. Price or class? Yes. Yes. Sir. Uh, valuation price you are saying, right? Valuation price, sir. Valuation price. Well, how valuation price is controlling? Yeah? No, valuation sir. No, class, sir. Valuation price, sir. I'm saying valuation price. Last one is price control. It is standard price or moving price. Price control. Immediately price control. Uh, next. Next. That's it, sir. That's all, huh? Yes, sir. In case of quality, we can do, uh, we can add secondary screens, uh, right? Uh, screen, uh, screen reference, screen reference, so that, uh, that also we can add, okay? And uh, price controls, standard or moving or price, and whether all valuation areas should be maintained, quantity update or value update, or only specific uh, valuation areas are the uh, Quantity update and value update because if I go to the company, each and every plant wise, each and every valuation area wise, then if you want to go one, I want to select to each valuation area, then I can go option like I will select the, each valuation area level. If I go, if I want to, all valuation areas must be quantity update and value update, then I can select the, all the valuation areas. So there is not a, there is a option like we can. So how the number range is controlled, it is a, uh, what material type you have created, you can define the number ranges. And field selection control, it is a field reference either. With reference to field reference, you can control the field selection. And the user departments directly, you can select from material type and uh, procurement type directly from there. And the quantity and value update, it is based on the valuation area level. And valuation classes, it is again not directly, it is account carrier. Yes, this is what you are telling. Yeah. Yes, account sir. carrier reference, right? Yes, sir. Not valuation. Yes, sir. Okay, not valuation. So account carrier reference. Price control, you can directly do that. Yes, so sir. So these are all where we can see, where we can see all these things. We can see in the OMS2. OMS2. Right? OMS2, you can see these are all. If I go to OMS2, then you can see that here. If I go to inside, then you can see that uh, field difference here, and you can also put item categories also, and you can also put status cross plan material status also. You can control, and you can do screen references, and you can do the uh, departments. Okay, and you can see that here account category difference price controls. Okay, class also can define. Class also you can define. Valuation areas. Okay, quantity of written value. So there are so many things are there, but uh, uh, these are the priority. Okay, these are the priority. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.
Eso. Es lo que... Ok. So this is the material type control. So then what else it is of the material type control? Material type, material master record, master record tables, or T codes. Okay. Let's go with table first. So what are tables that we have? Mara. MRD. BW. BW. MKT. One. MKE. One, yes. No, no idea. Okay. So, Mara is a general data. Okay. And Masi is a plan data. Plan data. And MRD is a store location data. And MBW is a validation data. MKT is a material description. MKE data, this data, right? So, so many tables are there. MARM, what is MARM? What is MARM? Unit of measures. Multiple alternative unit of measures and sales units, conversions and all. So unit of measure conversation. Right? Yes, right? So like we have so many tables are there in the metal version. Where all data is there. Okay. And you can see how the text will be work. So text, if you maintain the text, how you can see that? If I go to MM02, if I maintain that text, you know that text, no? You know text? You can maintain the control text, you can maintain the sales artness text, text, basic data text, all we can maintain. If I maintain the sales text, where we can see that? What's text? Where, where, where we can see this information? If I just maintain ABCD something. Okay. Where we can see this information? In PO, in PIVO, but table level, if you want to see that, I need a report. Then how we can capture this information? How we can capture this information, text information? How we observe this one? Awesome. Okay. So generally, this kind of the information, if you want to capture the complete information, general will go for the SC38. General will go for the Function modules. Okay. So there must be some function module will calling that uh, capturing the information. Okay. So not a see that. Yes. Sorry. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, what is the function module table or T code? SM. So, SC37. SC37. Let's see. Sorry. SC37. Okay, so this function module. Okay, so here read underscore text. Okay, this is a function module we can use and we can capture the information. So all the text is we can capture here. So wherever the data which is there. So here we have to be entered the ID, language, name, object. Okay, every every uh, every master data or every transaction data we have the object name. That object name we have to be entered. Okay, so where we can find these all. So we, in the tables, if you go to that, okay, there is a multiple tables are there. If I go to table one of the table, if you see that XH. if I go to XH, this is one text file of a header. So if I go to here, if suppose text name or text, whatever it may be, okay, uh, what I can enter here, let me try MAT something star if I put to, let's do this one. But this is all material related. 
Okay, so just now if I maintain one text for the one of the material, right? MM03, if I go to, I have maintained one of the material which is like 110682. Okay, so this is the material number now. Now what, how we can find now? The material number, this is text object. Okay, if I go to text object uh, and enter into the here, text object, okay? This is the object, we can enter that here, object, the name is object here. The next one is material number. Okay, if you want to go for the material text name, have to be entered at the time of text name here. And ID, ID, if you can see the best here, ID, and you can see here text, and if you want to go for language, you can go for language here. Okay, so then what we'll do, we will be executing this one, okay? Then if there is any data which is there, it will display. So there is one entry which is there, which is maintain ABCD. That is what I maintain now ABCD. Can you see go, go to here, which are the text. And enter. And I can see ABCD I have maintained. Right? So this is the way you can find out that. Okay, this is the way we can find that, how we can read the text. Okay, so we have the multiple. See if suppose here this is there, right? So if I go to XT Excel, okay, this is also one table for lines, line item. Okay, so each line item wise, maybe patch order line items, each line item, or maybe anything which you like, they have the, you can go with here. Let me try with uh, material if we have or not material permission. So I'll just enter material. Exit. Okay, so now you can see that. Okay, they maintain this material and this information and this language and IDs and this is data. The, it is storing in the binary uh, that language was maintained. Okay, so if you want to be clear to read this one, okay, you can read. You can read based on the uh, read underscore text. Right? Some that if some module you can go. Okay, clear. Is it clear? Okay. Because uh, maybe in the same material. Okay, maybe if you same material, if I have the multiple uh, cases like multiple textes or multiple, uh, like I will show you one example, MM02, if I'm going to MM02, here if I go to purchasing, okay, and now I have only purchasing order text data. Okay, here if I go to purchase order text, I have only purchase order text data. But if I go to some other uh, like PO or something, if I go to PO, then I have the different different tab, tabs are there. What tabs it is there? Let's see. If I go to ME22 or ME21N, whatever it may be, we can go. If you see here, and if I go to item details, okay, the item details having the text information, again, the text information, multiple texts are there. In for regard to pure text, purple. To pure text and delivery. so those cases this will be helpful. Okay, let me maintain this for A, B, C, D, something one, two, three, four. Okay, and and A, B, C, D, which is already captured A, B, C, D because I maintained there. So this copy control, and I'm just maintaining here something like uh, T, G, G. Okay, like I'm just maintaining there. Okay, and save this one. Okay, I have saved this one. Now what will be happen? So I have maintained item text. I maintain item text. I have maintained delivery text. Okay. So now we can see that. Now we can see now this info card text is there, material PO text is there, and uh, delivery text is there. So material PO text, anyway, you understand from materials, you can find it. And now how we can find this uh, delivery text? And I will be maintain item text also. Let me uh, maintain some. 
something I have maintained. The entire interaction. So now I have maintained this one. So now what we can do now go to okay SC16 and and let's see what is the object name here. Okay, in case if you are not finding that what is the object exactly. Okay, so there is a way also can can go here. Let's see here. Okay, so double click on this text. Okay, so it will be open. Okay, this coming come. Okay. Can come. Okay, now let's see. So now here you can see here, right? Uh, the text which is coming in the Word document will maintain bigger data, right? So here, uh, if I go to uh, details of program symbols, okay, here if you can see the text object is txt. Text ID is xt standard text. So here, when you click on here, you can see here that the information here. Now all you can see here in the top also. Text program symbols. Okay, clipboards. Here you can find all the information. If you go to over here, you can see that the language here and text ID is F01 and the text object is TKPO. So I just maintain, right? Let's see. Now I'll go to again read underscore text. So it's not needed to every time to go to STX. Okay. Uh, sorry, SC SC 37. Okay. So now read underscore text. I'm just going to read underscore text. And what I'm just entering here, the language is EN. Language is EN. Yeah. And the ID is read ID. F01. Centering F01. F01. Then, okay, object. What is the object? EKPO. EKPO is the object. EKPO is the object. And text ID and F01, all this information. Now, so what I can enter? Text name. Be model. Then exit. So then exit. Then if I see that, if I just maintain, okay, the data which is there, it will come here. Okay. So that is maintained. Okay. So like if data is there, then it will be displayed here. Clear? So this is the way we can find that all the information. Clear? You can see here entries here. What you maintain? Something JLLI, something which I maintain. So this F01 ID will be changed here. This F01 ID will be changed based on the what you maintain in the sequence. So I just shown right here. Uh, now item text is the F01. If I go to some delivery text, okay. So then if I go to delivery text, then it will be like different. Again, here it will be the different information of 04. You see. Particularly this text object having this text ID and languages and here. So this is the way we can write the logic if you want to capture the text information into the print the preview or output or anywhere if you want to find out that you have to write the logic this is the function much we have to use and this is the what we have to use the text id and objects and all okay these are all real time scenarios okay is it clear yes sir yes sir no sir no sir no sir okay then okay then and then we'll stop okay class so we not join all the data sir chip and class me set at